Good morning, everybody. We're on our way to the truck. We have us a load in Kenora waiting for us. We got to tie it down. We got to tarp it. But first, we got to go get a trailer. Old Blue got new shoes yesterday, new drive tires. I'm going to replace the steers right before winter. Uh, so, uh, got serviced as well. So, got fresh oil, fresh filters. Got looked over, so we made sure it was all good to go. It's, uh, it's going to be a good day. I got the Timmy's. Got to go grab a trailer. I'm going to grab a step deck tandem if there's one available. I can I can do it on a flatbed too if I want, but uh, I prefer the step deck. I, I just like that the, the deck is lower. I don't, know. I don't know. More options for freight, right? Let's go see what they have available. First, we got to get Old Blue started up and warmed up. It smells like fresh rubber in here. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Woo! Fresh rubber, new shoes. So I showed this in uh, yesterday's video. We got these tires. Yes, I went a little cheaper. I got the Blackhawk BDL 71s. Uh, the size is 295, 75R, 22 and a half. We'll see what they we'll see what they do. I've heard good things about them. I've heard a few th bad things about them uh, hardening up in wintertime a little bit, but I've also heard a lot of people who have actually used these tires that say they're just fine in wintertime. Now these tires I'm told may wear down a lot faster, but you have to uh, remember that these eight tires here are at least $3,000 cheaper than the big brands. Like I got over here, I got these two Goodyears. These are for sale, by the way, anybody wanna buy them? Email me, truckerjosh at, oh, truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com. I do know my own email address. Uh, those are 295, 75R, at 22 and a half, just like these. They're brand new. They've only got a few thousand miles on them. I don't need them. Uh, they are, what's, what's, uh, let's just check. They are G, what is that? Ah, 182s, G182s. Goodyear's. If you want them. And you can come and get them and meet me at a time when I'm home and here. I can meet you in town here. Or it depends where you're from. I, I may be able to meet you if it's close by, but I'd prefer if you came and got them uh, because I, I'm, I got a lot going on on the weekends, but I'm selling them for 500 bucks each. I paid 750 for them each and retail uh, without any fancy discounts because of accounts and stuff, uh, you'd be paying close to, close to $900 for them for tax so it's I think it's a pretty good deal if you want them let me know they could be yours I don't need them these tires now like I said a set of eight of those almost a thousand dollars each be seven to eight thousand dollars I'm talking Canadian dollars here remember that these tires four hundred and twenty five dollars each so you got eight hundred and fifty it's seventeen hundred. Thirty four hundred dollars. Plus taxes and everything. Did I do that math right? Thirty four hundred. Seventeen hundred plus seventeen hundred. Two thousand these carry the one, four, and thirty four hundred dollars. After tax and installation, it came out to four thousand and sixty two dollars, I believe. After tax and installation. Said and done, just over four thousand dollars. So with those being Close to seven thousand dollars for eight. You do the math. Four, five, six, seven. I saved over three thousand dollars. Now, if these last a shorter time, that's okay because I paid less money for them. So we're gonna test them out. 
I bought them at just over one, uh, three million kilometers on the truck itself. So we'll be able to use the odometer. Uh, it was 3,700. So we're just 700 off, which is no big deal. We can use the odometer to keep track of exactly how many miles or kilometers we're putting on these tires. And then I can let you know how they, how they last, how they wear, as long as they wear evenly. I mean, the cost per mile uh, should balance out, even if they don't last as long, right? We'll, we'll see what happens. I, I like them. I mean, I went with a closed shoulder. Uh, that's the because the open shoulder they didn't have in these size. These the size that I have here, the 295s are a little bit more rare up here in Canada. So uh, there's that. But I like them. I mean, I like the way they look and the way they smell is what I can tell you. Let's go on a trip. Let's go to Kenora get our freight, and I'll tell you how I like them on the road and underweight. It is a hot day out there. 34 Celsius outside these windows. It's safe to say we're gonna work up a little bit of a sweat tying this load down. And it's not even that hard of a load to tie down and tarping is pretty easy too because I got a big machine that helps you. Hopefully I can get there in time because all this construction. They're making good progress though, I'm actually pretty impressed. Usually, you know, when they'd start a project like this, at least in my lifetime, what I've noticed is when they start a big, you know, undertaking, big infrastructure project like this, it takes like 10 to 20 years. Which is ridiculous, right? But looks like they're making pretty good progress. I don't know how fast it's going to go. I don't know when they're planning on opening it, but I'm just happy to see stuff getting done, you know? And who knows, they might have been doing environmental studies for like the past 10 years. This road should have been done already, I guess. But... It is what it is. Happy something's getting done. We're just into Ontario. We just gotta go just a little ways in here to Kenora. And then we'll cross into the US from Fort Francis, once again, into uh, International Falls, Minnesota. So far the tires have been very good. They definitely handle differently, probably because they're brand new. Uh, it feels like the truck is uh, like swims around a little bit in the tire ruts on some roads. And that could be just, you know, the tires getting broken in. Yeah, they're brand new. They take a little bit to get, get worn in. But Okay, these guys, they keep slowing down, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. I can see the guy in the front there. There's no one in front of him. Speed limit is 70 through here. We're back down to 50, then he'll go back up to 70, and he'll go back down to 50. Steady speed, that's all I ask, just a steady speed. You got your high beams on, my friend. Look down at your dashboard every now and then, you'll see a big blue light. Beautiful day though, beautiful. This would be a great day to be at the beach. Great day to be at the beach. It's also a great day to be trucking. There's also that. And we're back down to 50. Big front end loaders and heavy machinery. That looks like fun. 
Got this one on the left here. There's an even bigger one that's uh, will be on our right. That's a big machine. Look at the size of that. That is a big deer. Oh, he's looking down on me in the big truck. First of all, look at these new shoes. So far, so good. I mean, it's only been about 200 miles, but 200 miles is 200 miles. So here's my load, just finished tarping it. I'm all alone here in the tarping station. So I've got lifts of, or bundles of lumber under here, right? I've got four, so two, four. I've got a stack of three in the center there, and then four and four on the back. So I put this strap over here just to stop the tarp from flapping in this loose area here. Plus I got the bungees holding it stiff. I've got this strap over the outside just to hold this tarp here so that it doesn't start like, so that the end doesn't start wobbling this way and then suddenly fall off over that there because this tarp underneath here only goes to the end here. So if this falls off, well then I've got a big problem because then the air is gonna get underneath this back one right away. It's gonna turn into a big balloon. It's gonna be a big mess. I'm gonna have to fix it on the side of the highway. Something I don't wanna do. So that's why those straps are over the top. Usually you put your straps under the tarps. Over the freight, under the tarps. I always laugh because sometimes when I see guys uh, tarping or uh, I put the tarps on first and then their straps, I compare that to, you know, putting your underwear on over your pants. You're supposed to, it goes underneath. <laughs> There we go. All buttoned up, tarped down. Ready to rock and roll. It's gonna be fun. So let's test out these uh, Blackhawk tires. A little bit of weight on them. I'm sitting at just under 34,000 pounds on my new tires here. Let's put them to the test. here. Load is already cleared at the border. They're sitting there waiting for me. Well, probably not for me specifically, but at least when I get there, they'll be expecting me. They'll see my paperwork, see my face, see my ID. And be like, all right, Trigger Josh, you have fun, all right? You be a good boy. I'm gonna go deliver this in Minnesota. I don't know what I'm doing after this tomorrow yet. This week is gonna be a little bit of a a tight race around kind of week because next Saturday is that truck show. I have to make it back for that. I missed it last year and there's no way I'm gonna miss it again. So this week we're gonna just take whatever we can get so that I can get home for next weekend. And then after next weekend, we're gonna lace up our shoes real tight, pull up our pants, put our truck and hat on, and we're gonna go make some money. wherever the loads may take us. Yeah, this is my 
my phone charger up here. It's a wireless charger, but I don't need it. Uh, my phone at one point, the, the plug in the bottom stopped working, so I had to charge it using a wireless charger. And then one day it just decided to start working again. So I'm glad I didn't go out and buy another $2,000 phone. The old one still works. You just have to wait it out. Eventually it just started working again. So right on, don't have to buy a new one. So this is that uh, blind corner that I really don't enjoy turning on to. I'm going right. So traffic from the left is coming around a corner at 90 kilometers an hour. At least that's the speed limit. Most traffic's probably coming at about 110. And there's no turn lane here. So I gotta go right into the lane of traffic and hope that nobody's gonna come around that corner not paying attention. Of course, as soon as I'm on here, I turn my four ways on. My pay attention, please don't hit me lights. Not too bad. Look at that lake down there. Oh, I wanna get out on a boat. I wish we had a boat and a cabin and a lake and a whole bunch of other stuff. I wish I wish a lot of things. There we go. Let's put these new shoes to the test. Not bad. I can still definitely tell that I got new rubber on there. It handles a little differently. Not badly, but it's just handling a little differently. Once you drive truck for a while, you start to feel the truck beneath you. Especially in winter time, it's very important. You just feel the truck beneath you. You can tell what the truck is doing. You sort of become one with machine, right? It's just an extension of your body. So I can tell now there's something different, definitely. And because I put the tires on, I know that's it. There's something different about how we're sitting on the road here right now. It's just, my stance is a little different. The bumps feel a little different, a little bit more padded almost. Makes sense, right? I don't know, I'm happy with my choice. They were almost $4,000 cheaper than the, the name brands. And like I was telling you in the shop there, I mean, I'm not expecting them to last as long. Maybe they will, I don't know. I'm just sort of expecting because they're cheaper, they won't. But we'll do like a cost per mile analysis at the end of it and see how much they cost per mile. And it'll probably balance out to about the same, I'm thinking. Like, sure, the expensive ones last longer, but you also have to pay more for them. So when you're, in the end, you, you're paying for the same rubber, right? I don't know. I'm not a tire expert, but I will take you along on my journey here and I'll keep you updated on how the new tires do. They are Blackhawks. Never even heard of them until my dad bought them last week. And he told me the price. I was like, are you serious? They're like 425 bucks a tire. Like, really? Like most tires are like 900 bucks a tire. Wow. I called in and sure enough, sure enough, it was cheaper for me to get eight new Blackhawks than for me to get the remaining six Goodyears to match my other two in the shop. Like, still save myself thousands. It's crazy, right? Crazy, crazy. Money talks. I gotta save up to buy a house. We'll see if this was a good choice or not. I don't know, I'm not perfect, but sort of flying by the seat of my pants one day at a time. If it was a mistake, we just won't do it again.
International Falls, Minnesota. You guys know this very well. Nice town here. It's actually a pretty big town. I'm pretty sure the US side is bigger than the Canadian side. But maybe not, you know? I haven't really explored either one. They're both quite nice little towns. The time is now 9.20 at night. I'm gonna make it down to Deer River at least. Deer River is the goal. If I can make it past that, that's great. But I don't really know of anywhere to park past Deer River. Unless I go all the way down to Brainerd, which I could do. I mean, it's possible. It is an option. Am I going too slow? There's a whole bunch of people lined up behind me. I'm going too slow. Watch out, cyclists. I see parked cars coming. You stay in your lane there. Cyclists always make me a little nervous there. They can't be trusted, you know? You never know what they're gonna do next. <laughs> I usually cycle down the sidewalk. I know, right? I find, in my mind, it's safer that a cyclist hits a pedestrian than a car hitting a cyclist. I mean, that's, that's my logic. I just be careful and just try not to hit anybody. the next morning the guy beside me had a leak of some sort overnight wow be careful not to step in that here we are it was a good day want to see how the shoes did first day of driving look at them they did good they definitely handle different though than the Firestones I had on here before. I don't know if it's because they're brand new, but uh, they they definitely handle different around the corners and on the highways when you know there's little ruts from other traffic, the road's getting a little older. It definitely sort of feels like it swims around a little bit more. Maybe that's just in my head. Maybe it's just because it's new rubber. It feels different for me though, but uh, it's not bad. They're doing good. So maybe that's just to be expected. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to end the video here. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. We're going to start from right here tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss it. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.